Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. By vetoing this resolution today, Russia has shown a disregard for core UN principles of territorial integrity, sovereignty, and independence. It has shown its support for an illegal and illegitimate referendum, one that the rest of the international community stands opposed to. The resolution was a deliberately reasonable text designed to maximize the chances of a peaceful resolution to this crisis. It aimed to reaffirm the sovereignty, unity, territorial integrity of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders. To express the need for all parties to exercise restraint and for a peaceful resolution of this dispute through political dialogue. And it stressed the importance of protecting all of Ukraine's minority communities. Russia was isolated today in opposing this resolution. In face of this isolation, we ask Russia to rethink its actions and take the decision to work with Ukraine and the international community to find a peaceful solution to this crisis before it is too late. Thank you. You heard from the Ukrainian ambassador news of possible new Russian troop movements. How concerned are you? Well, we would be very concerned if those reports uh, proved to be accurate. It would mark a further escalation by Russia uh, in this conflict, and Russia would have to be held accountable for that further escalation. Uh, you said that, um, Ambassador, that uh, Russia is isolated. I, I wonder how much is the international community united? How uh, much is Europe and the uh, West in general is united to uh, impose more sanctions against Russia? Thank you. Well, the European foreign ministers will be meeting on Monday. If the referendum goes ahead on Sunday, then I think we can see a reaction from the European leaders uh, on Monday. There is a unity of the position of the European Union. There has been all along. You saw that from the European Council uh, 10 days ago, and I would expect that unity to continue. All European leaders uphold the principles of the UN Charter, the core principle of unity and territorial integrity of states. And if Russia continues to flight, flout that principle, uh, there will be consequences. Ambassador, how much can we see today's uh, abstention by China as a sign that China is in a way supporting and splitting itself from Russia on the issue of Ukraine because the explanation of vote didn't necessarily express support for the elements expressed in the draft resolution? Well, I think China's abstention is important because it shows that it is not prepared to stand alongside Russia in its isolation when it goes against core principles that China uh, repeats very often in the councils of the United Nations. And I think the, uh, the principles that the Chinese permanent representative set out at the end of his explanation of vote were, were very interesting. I recall them now. He said that there should be a coordination group that should get together to discuss this crisis. He said that no escalatory steps uh, should be taken. And he said that the IFIs uh, should work with member states to find a, a support package for Ukraine. Those are three principles that the United Kingdom certainly uh, could support. So I think there is a very significant difference between China uh, and Russia in its approach to this crisis. Just one follow-up. Follow uh, how much is today's abstention going to, could, could it saw, uh, serve as a precedent for future Chinese support uh, with Western members on other issues, Syria, et cetera? Well, I don't want to speculate uh, on that issue. Ambassador, uh, there's been voices uh, that do compare Kosovo with the situation in Ukraine, Crimea. Uh, we all do know that uh, in Kosovo and Western Balkan countries we had ethnic cleansing and uh, genocide. What do you say to those uh, voices? There is no comparison between the two cases. Uh, the Kosovo uh, vote for independence, declaration of independence, came after a brutal war in which, as you say, there were massive human rights abuses, hundreds of thousands of people were killed, and the Security Council Resolution 1244 itself uh, accepted that the status of Kosovo was uh, disputed. None of those conditions apply in Crimea. It is quite clear that this referendum, if it goes ahead tomorrow, will be illegal, 
both uh, under Ukrainian uh, constitution and also against all international norms. Last question. Any other measures to, that could be taken by the Security Council to dis, de de escalate this situation? And do you expect any um, actions to be taken in the General Assemblies next week? It is possible that Ukraine will take this issue uh, to the General Assembly next week. That will be a, a decision uh, for them. In terms of the Security Council, we shall not give up. We have had uh, seven meetings in the last two weeks, and we will continue to meet as necessary to address this looming crisis. So we're not going to give up just because Russia has vetoed this resolution. We will come back. And if there are more escalatory steps, you can expect more resolutions to be tabled on this crisis. Thank you very much.